once it switches to the PCB editor, again we have to go to the setups design parameters and you have to do the same settings which we have created while doing the schema PCB footprints. So I'll make it all on and click apply. So go to designs here, change uh, the units to millimeters to mils if you want them, mils if that's fine. Uh, and then we are going to change the grids to finest. Finest is uh, point 0.1 is more than enough for, um, for me here. It is around four months. Then click OK. Then click OK. So we have to tell the uh, information about the pads also. Go to design parameter and then go to sorry, go to setup here. User preferences. So here the pad path we have to mention here because uh, the footprint uh, the PSM path is also the same thing. Uh, we have to mention the PSM path too. So to get the components from the footprint folder to the PCB board editor. So apply then OK. So now we have to add the footprints or the components on the PCB. So go to place option here and then go to manu ma play component manually. When you click on the component manually, so there are the list of components that are appearing here. If I want to register, click here and then bring it inside. If you want the J1 that is header, I'll bring it here. Along with that, it is the rats are also coming. So this is a C capacitor. So click close, right click, and then come in. So these are all the component uh, placement uh, from switch uh, from the schematic to PCB board.